Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Dee. If you're new, welcome. Today I thought I would film a uh, Christmas coloring book video. Just a quick little video. Um, maybe some of you guys are looking for some Christmas colorings. Um, maybe you're looking for some books. Maybe you have these books. Um, so I just figured I'd pop on. I pulled out a couple of books that are Christmas time themed and winter themed. And I thought I would just show you some of the pages and maybe some of you will find your next coloring book or maybe a page will call out and you'll find your next coloring page to add to your stack of winter Christmas colorings if that's what you're doing. Um, some of these actually I pulled out for myself. So um, a lot of these coloring books I'm going to try to get to um, for the remainder of November and December. Um, I did pull out other coloring books as well. Um, that I want to try and do that aren't Christmas themed because I don't want to get, you know, burned out. Um, but anyway, let's dive in. So this is a fairly new book. Um, it was in my haul. It was in my Christmas, uh, my November coloring haul. Um, so you may have seen it if you saw that video. But um, this is a Deborah Mueller Christmas themed um, coloring book. It's Peppermint Kishes, uh, Kisses and Gingerbread Wishes. Um, it's a very cute coloring book. Um, oh, that's, that's creepy. I guess he sees you when you do everything. Uh, so it's a really cute book. Um, it's fairly new, um, newly released in November, I believe. Um, if not November, it's fairly new. And I thought there were some cute um, festive um, pages. So I'm going to um, try and tackle a page with my alcohol markers. Um, I think this was the page in the haul that I said I liked. I wasn't 100%, but I like it now. There's a lot going on. But uh, yeah, so this is um, Deborah Mueller's Peppermint Kisses and Gingerbread Wishes. It's a Christmas themed festive coloring book in case any of you guys are interested. The next book is Eerie's Romantic Country, The Third Tale. So this book has a compilation of different kinds of seasons and themes going on. Um, but I did notice, I didn't flag them, but there are, as you can see, a bunch of festive Christmas wintry themed um, pages in here to color. You have this cityscape kind of village, winter village, um, Christmas, and then you have the Nutcracker. Um, this is like a fall page, but um, I do believe elsewhere in here there are some holiday themed colorings. I mean, I'm just flipping through here, um, but if you do have this third towel, see there's some Christmas cookie page. Um, there are some wintry themed and um, Christmas themed pages to color in here. So maybe some of you didn't think to pull this off. Um, I know I didn't. I was really just focusing on anything that had like Christmas in the title. And then I remembered that, you know, the third tale has a bunch of different things. So the romantic country, the third tale by Eerie. Some cute festive coloring pages. The next book is um, another fa fairly new one. It's by um, Camelia Angelkova. It's 50 winter and Christmas fairy houses. And this one again, festive and adorable and so many cute themed things in here to color. I'm looking forward um, to coloring in here again, trying to hone in on my alcohol marker uh, skills. Um, I just really think they're so relaxing and I just, I just want to use them lately a lot. So this is like a perfect book for it. So um, another fairly new one um, by Camelia Angelkova, uh, 50 Winter and Christmas Fairy Houses. Another fairly new one um, is The Nice Little Town Christmas 3 by Tatiana Bogemostolova. Um, this again was in my coloring haul. A lot of these were because I did, um, in my November, I bought a lot of uh, Christmas themed books. And this one, you know, I... I as all of her books are themed, her theme books, this 
is really um, Christmas themed, winter. It's got your candy canes and your peppermints, um, gingerbread. All her books are so adorable. And this one is just as adorable as all of them. Look, a little winter, um, where was that? A little winter mitten uh, glove for um, the books belongs to title page. So yeah, so this is another Christmas one you guys can um, pull out off your shelf or maybe add to your list. Treat yourself. <laughs> nice Little Town Christmas 3 by Tatiana Bogema Stolova. Um, another book that is kind of on the same scale as the Eerie books is um, the Art Therapy book. Um, this particular one, it's um, got a lot of seasons in it and um, there are some winter festive scenes. Um, so there's this page here. It's got just like, you know, like a reindeer and he's got the holly leaves. So, you know, not necessarily Christmas, but very winter. Um, you have your girl in the, her winter coat. Um, riding the um, wolf through the woods. Um, the snow. All these guys. Some Christmas cookie holiday. Um, treats dogs and cute little Christmas sweaters. So there are some really cute wintry pages, like some, look at these the otters or the ferrets, I think they are, um, with wrapping paper and presents. So there are some very wintry and cozy and festive pages scattered throughout this book. So again, like another one like Eerie, you wouldn't necessarily think to pull off. Um, your shelf but it does have some winter themed and holiday themed pages oh, I did want to color I don't remember we'll just put this here I'll figure it out later um so this is the art therapy um book and this is the name and it's very cute another Christmas coloring book is um by Jade Summer so this is the chibi Christmas and the, this is the pre-shaded one and it has a lot of, you know, festive presents and cookies and holiday treat pages, snowman, kids under the mistletoe, um, double images, first um, half is one image, one section, and then the second half of the book is double, you know, duplicates, you've got your Christmas angel, sled, sleigh riding, you know, so it's wintry, it's not all just like Christmas gifts stockings very sweet book some easy colorings we can do in here so yeah so this is another cute um holiday book to color in chibi christmas um by jade summer um, another one we have is um the christmas cuties by joshua dunbar um this book is just really holiday winter festive themed i mean look there's an ice cream cone in here so um i'm not sure how that plays in but look it's like a winter theme it's just very cute um i did actually color two pages in here no eight page maybe two pages i'm not sure i did this one already and i'm, I'm in the process of doing this one so it's a really cute book. I'm um, usually I don't show my colored pages, but I mean by the time I do this colored page video, there'll be so many other pages to like throw in there. I'll just show you guys this one in the meantime. So yeah, very cute. And actually, um, I put the moon in because there's this snow glow page, which is so adorable on this side, and you could see the um circle. And I was like, oh, I'll just make it a moon, and he'll be like flying across the moon. But yeah, this is another really cute book. It's pocket size quick relaxing colorings and again um this is the christmas cutie book by joshua dunbar a pocket size coloring book um we also have the always loved matchstick mouse um this is the christmas coloring book by morgan o'brien and just a lot of cozy holiday themed pages wintry very very sweet so 
again, another one you can add to your collection or maybe pull off your shelf to do some seasonal coloring. Um, this is the Matchstick Mouse Christmas Coloring Book. And that's Morgan O'Brien. We have another um, Camellia Angelkova, um, 50 Christmas Miniatures. And again, very another like all her books, so cute and festive. I don't know if I will get to both of them this season, um, but I plan to color um, in one or both. So yeah, really cute book. And kind of right up my alley right now. So it's 50 Christmas Miniatures by Camelia Angelkova. Um, the next two books I have to pull off are going to be Creative Haven, Teresa Goodridge. Um, this is Enchanted Christmas. And like all of her books, very whimsical. Um, this one is a little like fairy-ish based with like fairies and angels cute little things but always as adorable with her christmas scenes everything you come to expect and love of teresa goodridge if you're a fan so yeah this is a really cute book and this is um the creative havens enchanted christmas and then the next one i think this is the newer one by her i'm not sure um this is home for the holidays so again very um seasonal you have Christmas trees and Christmas treats, um, your wreath, shopping, country farm scenes with snow and trees, Santa Claus images, so cute. So I don't usually, actually as much as I love all of her books, I don't color in them much. Um, so I'm hoping to get either both of the ones I just showed or at least one colored in. And this is the Home for the Holidays Creative Havens book by Teresa Goodridge. And then last but not least um, is the R new RJ Hampson's Christmas Tiny Homes. And I've got two coloring pages going in this book. Um, this book is really cute. He has a cutout um, stuff in the background, so you could do some cutouts, make some things with those. It's very cute. I don't plan on it. I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, if I was, I probably would buy two copies of this book. It's a little Christmas village. You can bonus color and build, so that's so adorable. His books are so great. I love all of his stuff. And then we have all these cute images to color. And I'm doing two pages at once in here. Um, I'm doing this page, um, which is basically all alcohol marker. I'm j I have gone in now. I'm going in with some colored pencil. Um, there's a lot going on, so I'm trying to keep it like with a simpler palette. And when I say that, like I'm trying to just repeat colors. Um, I don't want to throw anything new in or make them kind of like muted, like gray, because um, there is so much going on, and it's a really cute page. I did some glossy. Um, no, some Sakura glaze accents. Um, I'll show this page in my completed in detail um, when I get to that video in a few weeks. But so many cute pages. And then I'm doing this page. In the process of this page. And this one I'm going more with colored pencil. Um, not so much alcohol marker. Just like for some large um, areas I'm doing the alcohol marker. Um, and then for the smaller areas, I'm, I'm doing pencil in this one. Right. Sorry, my cat's eating next to me and she's making a mess. <laughs> but yeah, it's so cute. Look at all the ornaments. So yeah, this page is fun. Um, I'm just going back and forth. as I, It's so funny. Like I'll color a little bit on this page and then I'll flip to this page and I'll color a little bit in this page. It's usually like a mess like around me when I'm doing and these two because one is marker based and acrylic paint pens for um accents and then the other one is pencil so there's a lot going on when I'm doing this but I'm going back and forth so hope they won't remain whips and I'll get them done but again so this is the new one by RJ Hampson um Christmas Tiny Homes so guys that's it um there are so many more um Christmas themed and holiday 
festive themed coloring books out there but these are some that I pulled off my shelf I believe these are really all the full Christmas books I had or have I should say um so I don't know if you guys have these books um if you do maybe you're inspired to color some pages if you don't have them maybe you're inspired to get some new coloring books in your stack um whichever you choose I hope to see your pictures if you have a channel or an Instagram I love looking at all that stuff and I wish everybody happy holiday coloring and happy holidays until um, I make my next video, which will probably be closer to the holidays. Um, so until then, there are a lot of um, holidays in between for the people to celebrate. So just wishing everybody a very happy holiday season and um, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys soon.